the game's not over. The guys are tough. They're going to fight. Kind of had a, a tough upbringing like a lot of our, our student athletes here at Bassett. I had a high school coach that cared and kind of saw some of the problems at home. And I'm literally standing here in front of you right now because of it. When I got finished playing in college, I became a teacher and I just felt like my calling was to coach kids and kids that are a little bit at risk. So that's kind of how I was growing up. Wearing number 12, Kiana Kendrick. I see a lot of opportunity for the girls to uh, grow and develop in the game. Matt, starting here. One of the biggest challenges that our program faces, a lot of our girls don't have the uh, resources to participate in, say, spring and summer AAU programs, whereas a lot of other girls do uh, from some of the suburban areas. In addition, our girls don't have the opportunities to work one-on-one -on -one with individual trainers. Dr. Riola, the principal here at Basic, he approached me about some woman from UConn. That's how he kind of framed it. They're interested in doing some basketball stuff with the girls in Bridgeport. So he asked me to gather the girls and come together in a classroom and meet with Megan Como, who played for UConn and does TV for the UConn Women's Program. Megan and Sherry Holler from the Justice Education Program out of Hartford wanted to help girls in the inner city. They wanted to have basketball clinics, they wanted to have games, they wanted to tie in nutrition, they wanted to tie in mental health. Yes, we want basketball to be a big part of what we're doing, but in the end it's almost a small part because this is about health and wellness and self-esteem and getting girls together. I mean, the pandemic wasn't that long ago. We want kids out of the house, we want kids interacting together, we want them making healthy choices, but we want to teach them some of what these healthy choices are. And underlying it all is the need for girls to feel appreciated, to enable them in a safe environment to take risks. Every kid should feel good about themselves athletically, whether they're running the 50-yard dash in record time or they're just getting over the finish line. I reached out with a program called Caribe, who was already doing 7th and 8th grade girls basketball and boys basketball on weekends throughout the city. This spring, we initiated it. It was Tuesdays and Thursdays at Central High School. We included Bullet Havens, which is a tech school here in the area, Bassick, Harding, and Central. And we hired coaches. And then through John Torres in Caribe, he partnered with Sacred Heart Women's Basketball Program. He had a network there. And they were coming to Bridgeport on Mondays and Wednesdays for the high school group, Tuesdays and Thursdays for the five through eight group and demonstrating drills and clinics, guest coaching, and it's just been wonderful. And then the steal by Pryor. Coast to coast, Pryor up and under. And growing up in Baltimore, I had that, that same type of role model growing up. The biggest thing for me is to just be the same person that somebody was to me. You know, build that connection, build that gap between my community and a role model. When we do those clinics and the Sacred Heart girls come in, we do a Q&A session at the end of every hour and a half clinic and, and game. And those Q&As are awesome because they're seeing girls that look like them, talk like them, walk like them, love TikTok, and are just as addicted to their cell phones as my girls. And it's like they see them walking to walk, talking to talk. They're in college. They're talking about their struggles. It's not just high school. It's in college. They have challenges. And they're living proof and models that, you know, they're all going through it. You always know that there's like opportunities to go into college and playing after high school, but actually seeing someone and like knowing the steps they took to get there, it gives you like hope that you could get there one day. And another electric play by Just being able to get young girls to be able to like, you know, grow and be able to, you know, make their families happy and just being able to keep their body in shape. I feel like it made a big difference. The way we find out that this is a success is through enrollment. When we first started off in the summer program, there was like 60 high school girls. We moved over to the fall program. We had 80 plus high school girls and 6th, 7th and 8th grade girls. Also, the numbers increased dramatically. You like to see rosters grow. Right now, Central High has uh, freshman, JV, and varsity girls basketball teams, as does Harding. So the, the programs are expanding. That's nice to see. Hopefully the one loss records kick in. Now you have girls in your program that have been playing in the fall, in the spring, in the summer, and then the actual season for four years in the program. That's where, when they're seniors, they have all those extra reps that they probably want to get. And that's when it's really going to reach its climax, I think, where it's just going to really, really help.
Now, even the girls that aren't like the upper echelon players in these programs, they have an opportunity to sharpen their skills. It's wonderful how everything came together in Bridgeport. From our perspective, Greg really was the driving force in making sure this got put together. One, two, two. I share my personal trials and tribulations, and I was them. I think that's why they trust me and respect me. It's like I, I had a tough upbringing. I mean, some of them have them tougher than me, but a lot of them I can so relate. These are the lady lines right here, right? Let's get this done. Let's go. I love the game of basketball. Gosh, I wouldn't be in Connecticut if not for basketball and coming to play at the University of Connecticut. And I love the fact that the game of basketball is still involved in my life. And now that we can help kids, and it, they don't have to be superstars. It has nothing to do with, with basketball ability. It has everything to do with teamwork and working together. When you're a part of something that's bigger than you, that's a special feeling, and that's what we want to convey to these kids. If I could click my heels together three times to make a wish, it would be that by the time we're done for the older kids, for those who are really good at sport, we will have coaches coming to see our kids wherever they are. And for those kids who are not that good, we will have their parents and their friends coming to applaud them for the efforts that they're putting forth. So everybody, everybody's a winner. Big thank you to tonight's game sponsor.